So do you want me to tell while the, while this is going, do you want me to tell you the story about my class uh, trial? Um, smacked your radiator. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna fix it, but okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna chill at eighteen hundred ki kilo ki kilobytes. You didn't hear what I said, did you? I did hear what you said. I'm just ignoring okay. it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Will do. Um. No. But, uh. Bitrate. We're getting there. We're getting there. Bitrate's getting better, so we're doing good. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> I'm just gonna redo my intro so it's not like awkward as fuck when I go to edit these. Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Gray and stream died, so I'm redoing my intro because that's what's gonna have to happen when I make highlights tomorrow. <laughs> um, sorry if it's shit quality. Bitrate is being stupid. As always, yay. Alright. So here we go. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Sure. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. You've been saying the same thing now <laughs> over and over. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. <clears throat> Both of these statements are lies. Is he wearing socks with sandals? Order, order. I think he is, actually. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this is a very serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Oh, now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness' names. It's obviously Gregory Edgeworth, the biggest twist of the century. <laughs> Obviously, he survived. <laughs> <laughs> he survived the gunshot wound, even with the body, and is now playing good old man that lost his memory. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Uh. <laughs> Yogi? That name seems familiar. Don't tell me you're the... You're, he was your court bailiff. Don't tell me I that game. I would not be surprised. Oh! Yanni Yogi, from the DL6 incident. It figures the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, tisk your ass. No, no, no! I have a nice ass. No, you do not. Jumping from <laughs> conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick! How are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor. Please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Just watch them have them, like, acid washed off. So, like, they're no longer there. <laughs> Just watch that happen. 
Tisk, tisk, tisk. Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why? The witness has no fingerprints. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> what? What? No fingerprints? Er, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. This is such- this is such bullshit. I don't like this. This is- I call <laughs> so much bullshit. I call shenanigans. I call shenanigans. I burned my fingertips working with the stuff, yep. What? Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints... No, we'll take toe prints. It's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll have to be able to... We'll, we'll not be able to prove his identity. No. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Wait, hold on. Can't we bring in Polly? Because Polly said, don't, don't forget DL6. Uh... It seems the case will have not has been decided, no. No. I know what happened. I know everything. I I just can't prove it. And no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Oh no. Oh yeah, there is. Nick, what are we gonna do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Tisk, tisk, tisk. You can stop tisking well, me! Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine his parrot for a little comic relief. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner of our own karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine his parrot? What is it, Nick? No. You're not going to. Your Honor. <laughs> the defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on the his proposal. Mr. Von Karma up? On my proposal. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. Psst, 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 psst. Right. <laughs> <laughs> psst, 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 psst. Edgy. <laughs> uh, order! Order! Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is an absolute farce! I object! Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot Von Karma. He shouldn't say things like that, Von <laughs> Karma, because that can actually be used against you like that. I have a right to do as you suggested. Ugh. <sighs> uh. Well, if you're so desperate, then please, be my guest. Oh, you damn, I will. Be my guest. guest. <laughs> my guest. Put our service to the test. Of course, you should go through with this. And nothing comes out of it. Then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game. Duh. Let the parrot take the stand. Oh, cross-examine her, Your Honor. Whoop. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence. I don't want whatever he's serving. <laughs> <laughs> Except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least... I guess it doesn't matter I because I'm placing so. you with cyanide. <laughs> Oh god, no, don't kill the parrot. <laughs> Bailiff, bring in the parrot. Hey, that's my job. <gasps> Polly, you're so pretty. Very big bird. That's quite a bird. It's a very big bird. <laughs> very big bird. I wish I could have a bird like that. Please tell us your name, Mr. Parrot. Name! Witness is ignoring <laughs> It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. <laughs> um, well, witness. Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. Hello, hello. 
Squawk? <laughs> the best testimony ever. <laughs> so I need the most concise <laughs> testament we've Con had so far. Concise. Concise testament, sorry. <laughs> Very well, begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? I I don't know. <laughs> what do we do, my <laughs> Hmm. Hello, hello, Squawk. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get in Phoenix. This is like the equivalent of me yelling at Aiden for being stupid. Phoenix! No, you can't. <laughs> What did you do? Why are you laughing like a madman? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining the scenario and I'm thinking of like, this is a lawyer just is, just cross-examining a parent, and he's like talking. It's like when you try to talk to a dog like you would a human, it just doesn't work. <laughs> the worst thing, is, I think, the best part is that it's in a courtroom and like the judge even said like, even the judge is like in on it. Like, why is he me? The only person here that seems sane is Von Karma, because Von Karma is like this ridiculous. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right. Um, what do I say? Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to do it? Um. We're trying to prove. You're trying to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. The best thing. You Probably try to Is, somehow have we forgotten something? As I recall, two days ago. Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk? Don't forget DL6, Squawk. If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? Hello, hello, Squawk. That's not what you're supposed to say. Forgot. Something we forgot. Hello, hello, Squawk. Uh-oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? Tisk, tisk, tisk. It's like he Some wanted us to do this. Something the matter, Mr. Wright. Yeah, it's I your have face. Every... <laughs> I am four parallel dimensions ahead of you. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me Von Karma expected this. He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked if we'd forgotten anything? Um, do we press here? You'll have to press at the first statement of what, and say what's your name. Witness, you can't just say, um... I don't know why they make you do this. According to the guide, you actually have to do it this way. That's odd. Maybe we should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, Squawk? Mr. Wright. I think we've established the latest name part. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. <gasps> I've got too much of a beard. I think we've established oh, that this parrot is named oh, Polly. Oh, I see the connection. I see the connection. Does this have anything to do with his owner's identity? Yes, it does. Thank God I read that court. Huh? Thank God I read that court thing. Ha! Fascinating. Mm, you make me angry. That is my job. <laughs> you claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity. Then show us this proof. Nick, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen. Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor, the proof that the Paris name reveals the caretaker's identity is... Drum roll. The Thanks, I, I heard that. <laughs> file. Good. Uh. 
That's quite a large file you have there. Yeah, you have the bigger one, sir. You stole it. I am bigger. Ah, uh, you, you asked for the enlargement. You wanted the enlargement, and you <laughs> got the enlargement. <laughs> God, did I not make a cut of that? You did, you did. Good, thank God. <laughs> That's how good. I remembered. <laughs> Which page right, is so this proof on, then? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Very well, Mr. Wright, please show us the page. Where is this file in the information connected to the parent's name? You can, I think you can look at it if you want. Uh, I think it's I suspect. think it's kind of funny how it says it's very large, but there's only three pages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, we can't read that much, sorry. Yeah, it's suspect data. Suspect data. It's on the suspect data page. This page is all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly. Exactly, Your Honor. He wanted to remember the name of his fiance who had committed suicide. That's why he named his parent after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Bah! A mere coincidence, that's all. Your your existence is mere coincidence. At the snap of my finger, you will cease to exist. Oh god, Thanos, no. <laughs> my granddaughter has a dog who she calls Phoenix. Okay, I... Doubt. Remind me, remind me to ask you about this in the second game. Because this raises questions. Yeah, how does he have a granddaughter? How, is he married? Can I see his left hand, please? I know he has a daughter, but she's like 17. Um, how old is he? He's like 50 something. You can look in the core record. Okay. Well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? Ew, that does, that's wrong. She's only, <laughs> she's only seven years old. You perfect. How does he have kids? <laughs> How does he have a wife? I think he must have more than one kid, because I can't imagine that his daughter that I know of being seven years old, because that would mean that she had it when she was like 10 or 11. Yeah. Alone, it's a little weak for evidence and emotion. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer. One more, if we could just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? Gumshoe, come and clutch gumshoe. Very well, witness, you may continue. I don't think he's gonna be able to come and clutch this time. So do we go back? And then- Nick, you have to go back and ask him what's the safe number. Witness. Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah, I don't know why they did it this way. That's just what they did. Maybe I'll get her to say.